Hi fellow makeup fiends, so today I'm going to do a video showing you my MAC pigment collection. I did actually film this a collection video before but I actually filmed it with me actually looking at the camera. I found it quite difficult to tip the pigments to show and I just didn't feel like the format was really lending itself very well to showing you kind of a collection sort of video, particularly with pigments being loose and they're quite volatile in a way in that if you sneeze or snip, spill them over, uh oh. <laughs> And they're too expensive to kind of mess with like that. So what I'm going to do here, this is a two-part series. This video is going to show you my collection. And the next video is actually going to be talking about how to use pigments in a variety of ways. Because a lot of people think they're just for the eyes, but there are actually a lot of different things that you can do with pigments. So I store mine in these drawers. So um, they come from store 21. And... They're basically just a cardboard drawer. I really quite like the pattern on these. I think they're $5.99 and you get three drawers. So I've actually got two sets of drawers, one on top of the other, because the pigments, um, some of them I have colour tattoos in with these, but the pigments are moving into four drawers. And then I've got um, two drawers, which I basically use for the stuff that I use every day. I've got like eye primers, mascaras, um, brow gels, eyeliner gels and stuff. So the top two drawers are my sort of essentials that I use a lot. And then the bottom four drawers are pigments. So I thought I would basically just kind of share it with you this way. Um, yeah, so those are the drawers. They're actually really quite deep. So they're quite deep really. Um, but that's what this one looks like. So I don't ha know the names of all of these, but I'm going to try and blaster it for you. Um, I do have this little lid of a candle. This is a fresh linen one by Robertson Hill. This is fantastic for mixing your pigments in and it's easily cleanable. So I've kept that and hopefully if I I'm going to try and get another sort of candle that's in a tin because these are perfect for using for that. Now in this drawer I have my mixing medium, which is basically the eyeliner one. So you mix eyeliners with this mixing medium. Also in this drawer I have another two mixer mediums which I'm yet to use yet. Um, I got them when the pro items came on because this is something I've wanted to try for a while. I just haven't had the time to really sit down at my desk and really concentrate on doing, you know, like a makeup look where I've had a lot of time. So I haven't been able to use these yet. But these are the mix and medium bases. They're like a gel consistency. This one is the matte medium one. So that mixes your pigments up to a matte consistency. And then this one is the satin one, which mixes them up to a shine. And you can kind of see that it has a shiny sort of surface. You could probably use Vaseline or something like that, but I really was attracted to getting my hands on these because I've heard good things about them. So we're gonna start with this draw. Um, and just crack on. Like I said, not all of these have names because they're part of stacks. But this one is a beautiful gold colour. They're almost like golden nuggets in there. Right, I've kind of stacked similar ones together. So I think that's why generally you kind of lost names. This one does have a name on the bottom. It says Dusty Desire. Um, so, yeah. But these are the crushed metallic pigments. And like I said, I've separated stacks up and stacked them all together. So unfortunately, I can't tell you the names of everything. Um, but I will show you the colours. So this one is stunning. It's a very deep, dark purple. Um, it's definitely very blue based. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one here is, I would say, more of like a red based sort of purple. It's very different. And these, just the tiniest amount of these, just goes an insane amount um, because they're just so intensely pigmented. And the great thing about them is that they're metallic, so you get a really nice frost finish. Sometimes they don't <laughs> screw back together very well. Um, this one is a beautiful lilac shade. Look at the sparkle in there. It's absolutely beautiful. Then you've got a very sort of bluey lilac. Or is that lavender? Yeah, lilac's the purple, pale purple and lavender's like a blue pale purple. And then you've got this one. This is lovely actually. This is a very sort of plummy colour. And I'll do a swatch of some others later on. These are my pinky sort of colours. So you've got a very true sort of dusky pink on the bottom. They don't always reflect like what you see on the outside. Sometimes they look very different when you look at them on the inside. That one is a very pale sort of peachy pink. And as you can see, it looks a lot lighter on the outside. That's a darker peachy sort of pink. And then the top one is a very sort of bright pink. 
The next stack, which is not quite so used, are the sort of golds. Um, I'm not a massive gold fan, but some of these like lean towards other colours. So you've got a very bronzy sort of antique gold. I do like an antique gold, so I'm very happy with that. Then you've got this very peachy sort of colour, which is actually really nice. That's kind of a peachy, almost sort of rose sort of gold, in a way. That one's nice. This one is a true gold, but I find it's not leaning too much yellow, so I'm really quite happy with that one. The next one is kind of a greeny colour. It's actually a very interesting colour. It's, it's more of a sort of a chartreuse. And then in the top you do have your true yellow gold, but I do want to try and start to use golds. Um, the reason that I have this one, I'm, I need to add this onto this um, stack actually, I'm probably going to do that now. Um, the reason that this one is separate is actually I bought that one on eBay. I'm just going to pop it on the bottom. That's it. So I like that you can kind of stack them in colour combinations, mix them really, just quite, you know, they store really well like this, I think. So, me being a complete neat freak, let me just shove them back in there. Right, so these are my silvery sort of colours, I really, really love these. So you've got very true silver, I'll actually swatch this one so that you can kind of get an idea of what some of these look like. This is just a very true grey based silver. That is a tiny little dot on my finger and as you can see it just goes such a long way. This is a very intense colour. Um, it's just got a beautiful shine to it and it's got some nice glitter content as well. Okay, the next one up. This has kind of got like sort of a greeny sort of blue tint to it. It's actually really quite a nice interesting colour that one. Then you've got another silver. This actually comes off a little bit lighter. It's not quite so grey toned. So that's more sort of like your silver, like, like what the colour of silver is when you wear it. Um, whereas the other one is much more grey. Again, you've come a torn lighter again. This is like almost like a platinum colour, which is really, really pretty. And then the last one on the top is actually just a very crystallised white colour. And I'll do a little swatchy of that one. This one's actually just really glittery. That's that one there. So as you can see, that's just more of like a frosty crystallized sort of white color. And then the last one to show you is the favorite one of mine, which is kind of my bluey greens, which is absolutely gorgeous. And you've got Surf the Ocean, which is, it's so difficult to see what it's like in there. It's a very deep, dark, sort of bluey, teal colour. That's just a tiny bit out of the lid. That's what it looks like. It's very beautiful. It's got a lovely high sheen to it. So not all of these are like super glittery or super frosty. And the next colour in here is a very high sort of shine silver colour. Again, that's quite dark. I've changed that over because that's more of a... A bluey green silver so yeah and then the next color in here is this beautiful ocean sort of blue color which is just gorgeous again let me see if I can do just a tiny swatch of that one this one's got some lovely sort of metallic quality to it all I'm doing is just touching inside the lid to get some color there really beautiful that one I love that and then the last color in the stack I do have the name of this one and um, this one's called spruced which is a very deep, dark, intense green. And as you can see, a tiny bit of that one goes such a long way. This is such a stunning colour. It, it, it does have um, a very dark green colour, but it definitely has an element of blue in there. So that's just some of the metallic pigments. They're just gorgeous. Some of them are really high shine with lovely glitter content. If you really like sort of glittery looks, they're definitely well worth looking out for. Not part of the permanent collection, so you would maybe have to look on eBay or wait to see if they're released as part of a collection, um, which they have been in the past, which is where some of these have come from. Now, all style pigments come in a different sort of container to the new ones. Let me just do a side-by-side -side comparison for you. 
So in the new ones you get 2.5 grams of product, in the old ones you got 7.5. So you got a massive amount more in the old product as you can see it's a much bigger jar. Um, they changed that, they kind of gave reasons of price point and pigments being expensive. Not sure if that's true but people still buy them because pigments are amazing. You need a tiny bit, they're incredibly pigmented. <laughs> Go forget as they are pigments. But um, yeah, they are fantastic products. Now I first started to get these and I just got a bit obsessed and I ended up getting a of them. I got quite a lot of these in blog sales so they actually were very cheap. I got some off eBay off trusted sellers um, but yeah that's where I got these from so these weren't, weren't full price because I wasn't into MAC at this stage. I was actually into MAC after they changed the product size but I have enjoyed collecting some of the older colours. Um, they're just fantastic so whenever new collections come out I do take a look and have a look and see what colour pigments are there in the collection. But um, nothing really has grabbed me lately. But anyway, onto these. Um, these are much bigger jars. They're really lovely. They come with a protector lid inside, but I have removed that. I don't think any of these have those in now. I just find they're quite fiddly. Now, it does look full. Um, don't be fooled by that. It actually tends to settle that way because I've stored it upside down. These are powder products, so it will have settled that way. If I was to shake it, I could probably get it to settle down somewhat, but I'm not going to. I don't really want to risk that. Um, I didn't tell you what colour that is. Right, so this first one is called Accent Red. It's quite unusual because it's more of a plummy sort of colour. And I did get this one in a blog sale. It's very pretty though. It is a plummy sort of red, I guess. And the next one in here is called Brash and Bold. You can see this one kind of has settled in a different sort of way. You can see the gap at the bottom. So let me give that a little shake. And hopefully when I open this, it might have settled down into those gaps. Yeah. So as you can see, there is some gap in there. This one's beautiful. It looks like it's going to be a very bright red which it kind of is, I'm not going to lie. But it does have a quite pink quality to it. It looks very red on camera. It is red. I just feel like it's not like the most intense sort of blood red. So this is actually very, very nice. Um, but yeah, that one does have a bit of pinkiness to it. The next one is actually a pro one, which is called Basic Red. This one, it is red. This is like a cherry, perfect, gorgeous red. And I hope that the colours are coming off okay, because I've had to use a light. Very dull today. I'll give a little swatch of that one, so you can kind of see the difference. There you go. So this is more of a tomato sort of red. That's, I don't know, definitely a bit more of a pink red. The basic red is very nice. The next colour is called Smoke Signal. It's a beautiful colour. I really, really love this one. I was very attracted to this colour. So this one is a very deep sort of burgundy colour. Okay, so the next one is called French Violet, which is a very beautiful colour. That's what that one looks like. Very, very pretty. This is the next colour and this one is called Lovely Lily and it's so beautiful. I love Lovely Lily. That's what that one looks like. Then the next one is called Cornflower, which is just a basic cornflower blue. Then this one is one of my favourites. This is Deep Blue Green. I will swatch this one. Um, that's what that one looks like. That's that one so intense and so beautiful. I just love that colour. Then the next colour is Steel Blue. Which has a beautiful sort of, it's almost got very fine gold reflex in it. It does give it a very sort of denim look to it. It actually is very nice on. Then the next colour I've got is Golden Olive. I got this when I got, I think it was I wanted one of the colours and I wanted, somebody was selling three colours, I definitely wanted two. It's actually very beautiful this one. So I was actually really pleased. It wasn't a colour that I really had on my wish list, but when I got it I was really pleased. The next one is called Pastoral, which is actually very beautiful. 
and it's a very pale shimmery green colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually this one with gold and olive are very beautiful together so I'm really pleased with them. The next colour is called Spiritualize and that's a slightly darker leafier green so that's somewhere in between the other two colours. So those are my greens and then I've got two blues at the back which I was very proud of being able to get my hands on because I absolutely fell in love with these colours. This one is called Sky Blue. It's a very very beautiful pale blue colour. Absolutely stunning on. I just cannot say how much I love this colour. It's really lovely. And then the last one in here is called Mutiny which again is one that I really wanted to get hold of. It's brighter. I will try and do a swatch of this one. Almost like a sea form sort of blue. Really high shine. Absolutely beautiful. Love this colour. So the next draw, I have um, my paint pots back here, my MAC paint pots. I have got six of those and I've got two chromaline gels back here. Um, I keep my little spoon. This is actually came from a Christmas cracker and it was a set of measuring spoons. It's really useful to spoon out little bits of pigment so that you're not having to tip the jar. So if you are using them for other reasons than putting on your eyes and you're not just putting your brush in and you want to actually get some out and mix it, then a little spoon is really handy so that you don't have spillage. So I keep that in there and I keep my little tin. So those stay in there. I've got two mini ones that I got in swaps, which I will show you first. This one is old gold, which is really gorgeous, just really nice sort of old gold colour, which, you know, it doesn't have that horrible yellowness that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, this one is naked. This is actually really nice. I almost got rid of this a couple of times. Um, I wasn't too sure about it. Um, but I'm really glad that I kept it now because I know somebody wearing a colour like this the other day. Um, this has more glitter content so I'm actually going to use this kind of over another colour that I got um, but I really quite like the colour now and it's got gold particles in it. I have a glitter in here. No, this is Jewel Marine. So this is Jewel Marine glitter. It floats everywhere when you open it. It's really beautiful. So that's that one. And then the other four colours in here. Um, I have this one which is Rush Metal. This is a lovely copper, very warm or orangey sort of copper tone, really lovely, love this colour. It looks really amazing on the eyes. And then the other one that I've got in here is Copper Sparkle. This one actually is much more um, full of glitter content, so this is a lot chunkier. As you can see, it's a much more orangey sort of colour than that one. And it just does have more sort of glitter content in it. Really beautiful. Love both those colours. I think they work really well. They work really well with any eye colour, but I just find with me having green eyes, they work really well with my eye colour. The next one in here is called Silver Fog. And that's just basically a silver colour. And I'll do a little swatch of that one. So these are kind of my sort of metallic ones. Doesn't have any glitter content, it's just a really nice sort of silver. Really pretty. And then the next one was a gift from a friend. She'd had it forever. We're not sure what it's called, but it's something frost. Um, and I have used it, but it just settles funny in the jar. This one. This is just an incredibly frosty sort of finish. Um, it's very, very high glitter content. And that's what that one looks like there. It's more of a white. You don't need a lot of that one. I te that's why it doesn't look like there's much used. Because this one, she never used it. She just found it too much for her. You need the tiniest bit of this because it's so super glittery. It looks great over the top of other shadows. But you just have to be so careful to be just really minimalistic with it. It's ridiculous. So that is that draw. And then the final draw, I've got two old style ones in here. And then the rest of them are all new style. So we'll crack on with the old style ones first. There's two in here. Um, I love these. These are actually pretty recent purchases from eBay and this one is called Provence and it's a beautiful ivory but it's got a little bit of a gold shimmer to it 
And my favourite one, which I'm obsessed with, I've already used this. This is Polished Ivory. Oh my goodness, I love this colour on. It's just a perfect ivory. That's it there. It's coming off a little quite bright on camera with this light on, but it is just the perfect creamy ivory colour. Absolutely love this. These old style ones have a flat lid. They're fabulous to store. But the new ones have a slightly beveled lid, so when you actually stand them, they wobble about and they're quite, they're like weebles. Like weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, but these do fall down. <laughs> Kind of like that. So yeah, that's a bit irritating, but never mind. We, you know, it's just a small thing. The first one I'm going to show you is called Universal Mix. This one's just really nice as a topper. Yeah, this works really well over other shadows. Again, that's what I use this for. Doesn't look like a lot's gone, but this just kind of changes the appearance of shadows. It's a really cool shade. And then the next one in here is actually um, just pure white. I showed you this one in a haul. Um, it's one I've wanted for a while and it's just a pure flat white matte, white matte colour. I do want the other one because it's more of a satin colour. Well, you know, it's got a bit more of a shine to it, which is what I want for inner eye work and highlights. So I'll probably get that one next. The next colour in here is Kitchmas. This is what Tony got me for Christmas. And it's just a beautiful a lilac. Now, I love this colour. I've eyed this for ages. It's just super, super pretty. Um, it's not going to come off too well, but it's a very pale lilac colour, which I think lilac and purples just go really great with my green eyes. So I love that. The next one is from an Archie's Girl collection. This one is called Cheers, My Dear. And... That's Betty, I think. I'm pretty sure that's for Betty. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that is what it looks like. It's a really nice violet. Well, it's a lilac colour, but it's 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 quite deep lilac colour in a way. It's quite nice. The next one is called Violet. Again, yeah, apologies. These just settle very funny because they're upside down. But that one's a nice violet colour. This one's Full Force Violet. So this is actually a really intense sort of neon colour. It's really not coming up as bright on camera as it actually is. That's what it looks like. It's insane. I find that this can be a little bit of a patchy colour when you blend it. So it does take a little bit of layering. It, and it looks really bad there, but it actually blends a lot better with a brush. It doesn't really work well when you're using your finger. But it's a very, very insane bright purple colour. And it's just great. This makes a really beautiful eyeliner. The next colour is Bright Fuchsia from the Wonder Woman collection and it's just a bright fuchsia pink. Then moving on to some of my favourite shades, I've got Push the Edge which is a very deep dark purple colour, love that one. And then this one is Grape which is darker still. Then I've got Magenta Madness, which is a very bright pink colour. Then moving on to the next row, the first one is called Later, which is a deep, um, it's sort of a black with purple reflex in it. Then the next one is from the Archie's Girl collection, this one is called black poodle. This one is black with purple reflects. The next one again is from the Archie's Girl collections and this one is Lucky in Love which is a beautiful colour. Oh my goodness I love this one. There you go see I've pushed that with my finger and there you can see it's quite an indentation. So yeah. That's what that one looks like. It's an aqua sort of minty green colour. It's gorgeous. Love that. And the next colour, which actually it's slightly in the wrong order there, but this one's Magic Spells. This is the Veronica. This one is black with a teal reflect to it. This one's gorgeous. I hope you can pick up the reflect in it. If you can see, black with a teal reflect. Oh, love this colour. Um, a lot of these are best used when they're damp actually intensifies them, particularly the ones that have uh, glitter content in them. 
Moving on, the next one is teal, which of course is one of my favourites. Then you have got Party Licious. I went crazy trying to get this one because this is just insanely beautiful and perfect. That's it there. Oh, look at it. It's like a darker version of High Def Cyan with a ton of sparkle in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Then the next one is High Def Cyan, which is again one of my favourites. It's a really beautiful colour. And that's what that one looks like. And that's that there. It's almost like a neon blue really, isn't it? It's really, really beautiful. The next colour is Marine Ultra, which is a Wonder Woman one. That one's just a very bright blue. Then I've got Reflect Turquatic, which is a beautiful glitter. Gorgeous. Then we're moving on to the Reflect Glitter range that I've got. I've only got three here. This one is Reflect Transparent Pink. So they kind of are very, very, very like minimal. Just so finely milled. But this one is a white glitter that is more or less transparent and just reflects the most perfect pink. And there it is there. These are stunning over other shades. I mean, these are stunning on their own. <laughs> but I thought that these will be even better now over that polished ivory. The next one is called Reflect Teal, I believe. Yes, this is Reflect Transparent Teal. If you can see in the lid, you can definitely see that that is a teal colour. And then in the back, you have got Reflect Transparent Pearl which is stunning. This one um, sold out very, very quickly, I believe. That is that one there. Just really, really beautiful. And that's it. Phew. So that's it, guys. That is my MAC pigment collection. There will be a second part of this coming up showing you how to use pigments in a variety of ways, so I really hope that you will enjoy that too. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I've been Spacey's number one girl and I'll see you all soon. Bye.